ऑनरेबल यूनियन फाइनल मिनिस्टर मैडम श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारामन जी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सिक्किम लेजिव असेंबली श्री अरुण नुब्रेदी जी रेस्पेक्टेड कैबिनेट कलिग्स रेस्पेक्टेड सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री विवेक जोशी जी रेस्पेक्टेड चीफ सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिक्किम श्री बी बी पाठक जी रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन नवाड श्री शाहजी के वी जी रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया श्री दिनेश कुमार खराजी रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन सिप भी श्री शिव सुब्रमण्यम रमन जी स्टीम डिग्नेटरीज ऑन एंड ऑफ द डाइज रेस्पेक्टेड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड ऑफिसर्स फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ सिक्किम रेस्पेक्टेड हेड्स एंड ऑफिसर्स फ्रॉम द नेशनल एंड द रीजनल बैंक्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन प्रेस एंड मीडिया नमस्कार एंड गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल बिफोर आई बिगेन माई शॉर्ट स्पीच आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड माई हॉटिएस्ट न्यू इयर ग्रीटिंग्स एंड बेस्ट विशेष टू एवरी वन ऑफ यू प्रेजेंट हियर विद द हाई हाइस्ट ऑनर एंड प्रोफाउंड प्रिविलेज आई एक्सटेंड अ वॉम एंड हॉटफेल वेलकम टू द ऑरविल यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर मैडम एज द चीफ गेस्ट एट द क्रेडिट आउटरीच प्रोग्राम हेयर इन आवर ब्यूटिफुल ग्रीन स्टेट ऑफ सिक्किम यू आर प्रेजेंस gracing this occasion is deeply appreciated acknowledging the fundamental role you play as the union finance minister is fair heading transformation reforms in the financial sector madam at the outset i express sincere gratitude for your keen understanding of the ground realities faced by states like sikkim a significant number of micro and small enterprises in our region operate informally grappling with challenges in meeting mandatory documentation requirements such as permanent account numbers or goods and services tax identification numbers the launch of the udyan assist platform by the government of india to address such problem has been a great help which stand as a beacon of hope aiming to formalize informal micro enterprises and enable their access to benefits previously beyond their reach before may 2023 madam i am pleased to share that we submitted a memorandum to the government of india seeking financial assistance for the long term restoration and rehabilitation following the devastating flash floods along the tista basin on the 4th of october 2023 your assurance of full support from the government of india for the long term restoration and rehabilitation process are deeply appreciated i express my profound gratitude for the timely assistance extended by the government of india in response to the distress caused by the flash flood the approval of the board installment of the center share of the state disaster response fund amounting of rupees 44.80 crores in advance for the fiscal year 2023-24 will substantially reinforce our re endeavors in delivering crucial relief measures to the affected population madam on behalf of the people of sikkim i extend our heartfelt gratitude once again for your unwavering support and assistance i take this opportunity to highlight that the sikkim government faces limited avenues for revenue generation thus 
relying significantly on fund provided by the government of India and credit from financial entities, especially commercial banks, to propel economic development. Notably, these banks have been instrumental in providing essential credit through various schemes, showcasing commendable performance, particularly over the last two years. The credit to GSDP ratio has been remarkable growth during this period in the state of Sikkim, rising from the lowest position among the northeastern state, Sikkim has now secured a uh, place among the top three. Banks, notably the State Bank of India and several other commercial banks have played a crucial role in delivering credit, contributing significantly to this growth. Additionally, NABAR's contrib contribution as a development bank has been noteworthy in fostering financial development in the state. As of September 30, 2023, the credit deposit ratio in our state stand at an increasing 64%. This marks a notable improvement from previous year, reflecting a positive trend in credit accessibility and utilization. Especially, the CD ratio for public sector banks and state cooperative banks stand at 82.02% and 50.80% respectively, while private sector banks exhibit a ratio of 35.03%. Sikkim has gained recognition as one of the leading mountain state with exceptional financial inclusion, achieving full banking coverage across all blocks, leaving no area on bank. The banking sector in our state has intensified its effort towards achieving 100% digital enablement across all districts. As of September 30, 2023, Gazing District has successfully attained 100% digital enablement. Moreover, the remaining five districts on average have surpassed the 90% mark in their digital enablement progress. Madam, I am delighted to highlight the remarkable progress our state has achieved across various parameters online in the national strategy for financial inclusion. Notably, our coverage under the PM Jiwan Jyoti Bhima Yojana stands impressively at 117% of PM Jandhan Yojana accounts, a significant leap beyond the national average of 35%. Similarly, our success under PM Suraksha Bhima Yojana is outstanding, with coverage of 239% of PM JG Y accounts far surpassing the national average of 79%. This significant achievement underscores our commitment not only to cover PMJDY accounts but also to extend the benefit of PMJJBY and PMSBY to non PMJDY account across our state. Our achievement extends further with Atal Pension Yojana, where we have achieved commendable coverage of 40%, surpassing the national average. Madam, I am pleased to inform you that our state has exceeded the target set under the PM Swanidhi scheme, showcasing our dedication and effectiveness in implementing crucial financial inclusion initiatives. This success reflects our commitment to ensuring comprehensive financial security and inclusively for the residents of our state. Here I would like to mention that presence of a piece, a piece of Reserve Bank of India has boasted ruler credit and stakeholder coordination. It is noteworthy to highlight that our government has made significant contribution to successfully implement various government of India schemes, particularly focusing on crucial departments such as agriculture and analogy, commerce and industry, and rural development. 
Additionally, our government has taken proactive step, steps by introducing several welfare schemes, some of which are supported by bank funding with back-in subsidies. I would like to bring attention to a few key state welfare schemes, which includes Mukhya Mantra Krishi Atma Nirva Yojana. This initiative aims to bolster crop yield and agriculture productivity in the state. Mukhya Mantri Matsya Utpadan Yojana focus on uplifting the economy's prospect and ensuring sustainable livelihood for fisher farmers. Mukhya Mantri Pasudhan Samriddhi Yojana geared towards enhancing practices in dairy farming and augmenting the dairy industry. Peak Production Incentive Scheme designed to incentivize and promote piggery farming in the state. A skilled youth startup scheme aiming to mitigate unemployment and create sustainable self-employment opportunities, especially in rural and urban areas of Sikkim. One Family, One Entrepreneur, an initiative that aims to foster entrepreneurship and boost a startup ecosystem within the state. Mega Home Stay Project focusing on community-based tourism by planning the construction of 1,000 homestay using a cluster-based approach. This initiative, if we to mise our government's commitment to populating economic growth, improving livelihood, and fostering entrepreneurship while emphasizing community-driven development strategies in Sikkim. Madam, before I conclude, I seek your kind attention to a few concerns that, if addressed, could significantly enhance the effectiveness and reach of various government schemes in our state. Firstly, the MSME development and Facilitation, facilitation office currently faces a shortage of staff and is managed by a junior skills officer. The appointment of a full-time director would greatly aim in proficiently managing administrative matters. Moreover, both the Khadi and village industries commission and SIDBI are operating in Sikkim with limited staffing. Strengthening this organization by providing adequate resources and personnel would clearly enhance their effectiveness and impact within our state. Likewise, considering the export potential of our state, the absence of the Directorate General of Foreign Trade Office negatively impacts our potential in foreign trade. I humbly request your support in establishing this office to facilitate and bolster our state participation in international trade affairs. Lastly, an initiative to establish a carpet-making cluster at Okre, Soaring District, commence with a set completion target in 2020. Unfortunately, there has been no progress on this front. Your attention to these matters would be greatly appreciated and would immensely contribute to the progress and development of our state. Madam, before I conclude, I extend my heartfelt gratitude once again for your gracious presence and insights which serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all of us. We eagerly look forward to your invaluable guidance, support and leadership in steering us towards greater progress and prosperity. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Sikkim.